Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft OneNote. In this module, I want to look at the draw features that you have in OneNote. So I'm on the draw tab on the ribbon and you can see these features across the top here. So first of all, you've got undo and redo at the beginning and you've got select, which is this mouse pointer, the arrow next to the lasso, which is quite an important tool, which takes a bit of getting used to. So what I'm going to do is pick a pen, so I'll pick that pen and just scribble on the screen for a second. And then next to that, you've got a rubber, which will allow you to rub out things that you've done. Now, the rubber is still active until I click back to select and knock that off. Now, I'm picking a white pen. I'm just going to try and draw my name. So this is useful when you've got a tablet and you want to use a pen on a tablet as opposed to the mouse which is I'm, which I'm using, which is quite difficult. Now, this lasso feature, if I want to convert that into text when I get back to the office, I need to sort of wrap it like so, so it's captured the whole of it, and that's not as easy as it might have looked there because I've had a practice. And then further along, you've got ink to text where you can click on that, and if it recognizes it, it converts that into text, which is great. So I'll do that again. I'll just draw something. I'll, I'll draw something different. So I'll draw the word draw. I'm trying to write it carefully. So this might be a bit more harder for it to pick up. Let's see. So I'll go to the lasso effect. And then you basically got to get above it because this lasso comes round down the bottom like that. So it's pitted up, but it didn't even look like the word draw to me. Let's see what happens here. Ink to text. Well, voila, it's picked it up. So that's good. But it's the actual practicing with the lasso, this bit, that you need to have a, a, a few goals at. So you might miss a character. It's very easy to get in the wrong place and miss a character out. So go top left and come wide and down like that and you pick it up. Let's pick that up. So that's good. So put pointer back on. Now I've obviously got different colored pens. I'll just do some scribbling. Say red on black, it's okay. Got blue. Well, that's one I've done. Yellow is a marker pen, so you're basically highlighting it like that. And then this one. And then you can add your own. So if you go into there, you can add your own pen highlighter or laser pointer. I'll go for a pen. You're basically picking a color or a style. So I'll go for one of these. And then that becomes the pen color. So you can see now when I'm drawing, whatever I write, that's the pen color and it's changed it up there. Now all of this needs to get rid of, so I need the rubber. I need to rub it all out. Get rid of it. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So it's not rubbing out the text because that's converted to text. So I need to put that back to this. If I want to get rid of the text, it's in a container, so I need to just delete the container. So back to square one. So further along from that, you've got the the pan hand tool, which basically allows you to move this window around if you've got lots of things on there, which I don't. So it's not really moving it anywhere because I'm, I'm, it's a blank piece of paper, if you like. So I'll take that off. Then you've got this ruler, which comes on the screen. You can move it with this hand symbol. If you want to rotate it, you basically just use your scroll mouse to rotate it like that. And you can use that to draw a line, a straight line with. I'll take the hand off and I'll take that off. Space tool I've mentioned before, but basically if you, uh, let me put the pointer back on because it's moving that. If I type something, Steve, and then come away and type phase one. Now, I've said earlier on a different video that you can bang these two together with the shift key and they become one thing like that. So what that would do would allow you to split them off again. If I move that in between these two and then click and drag, I've created them uh, two separate boxes. So your shift key banging them together joins them together as one. And then that tool there, which is on a different ribbon as well, will separate them off. Now, next to that, you've got the background features. So you've got no, no lines there. Then you've got these different options where you can put lines on. And then when you type, you can see the lines. You're still typing inside boxes, but you are lining it up, if you like, on these lines. 
And there's different styles in there. You can have grid like that. If you're doing drawings and stuff. Also, that one. All different types of lined paper that you can create. You can change the line color. It's on um, light blue. Go for yellow. Whatever color you want. Whatever color works with the background that you want. Now, page color is an option down the bottom there. You can actually change the color of the page and or not undo that. Control Z. And you can obviously take the lines off back to blank if you don't want them on, which I don't. Um, let me just get rid of some of these. So I'll delete these off. Get rid of them. Don't want them. Back to square one. Because coming along, the next thing is the shapes feature. So if I go into shapes, you've got different shapes that are preset. You've got lines. So if I draw a rectangle, that's a rectangle. Got that color on still. And I'll draw a line, an arrow. So I'll draw an arrow. And then I'll draw another rectangle. Like so. And then I'll just um, move that across. So it's touching that. Now there are drawing tools that you can bring in, drawing packages that you can bring in. Um, but that's these are just preset shapes. You've got the oval shape there. You can just draw that. Just draw another one. Wherever you put it. Like so. And then a few of the math symbols and then different things there. Just do another one. Now, you can actually physically draw a shape yourself. So if I get my pen, I'll go for white again. I'll draw a triangle. Now, the computer automatically made that into a triangle. But let's try and do something where it can't quite work it out. So let's see what happens here. It's done a straight line there. It's sort of like automatically picking that up. But that's not perfect. But if I tick this on, automatic shapes what should happen is it should try and do it a little bit better for me and then create a shape well, i need to join the lines together so i need to make it obvious what i'm trying to do that snapped into a shape that snapped into a triangle that snapped into a rectangle. And I get it to do something if I do separate things like this. It's all to do with the gaps that you leave. If you leave gaps, it's like that. That's not making it difficult for it. So it doesn't even see that as a, as a shape that it can recognize. But that's more to do with how I'm drawing it because I'm using a mouse as opposed to a pen. So that's sort of snapped it into position. So that's what that is supposed to do, automatic shapes. Now you've got this um, ink to maths. So basically that's all about you going to, in fact, I better do this in a bigger space, come down a bit. So if I draw, if I draw two plus four, I need to use the lasso tool again to sort of get above that, to select it. And then I can do the same thing as I did with text, inked to maths. And it's given me the option there. So that's where it's picked up. And I can just insert that. And then it's done that. Now, a really cool feature in this is there is a built in calculator in OneNote. If I type 2 plus 4 and do equals, and then hit the space bar, it automatically will work that out for me. I'll do a more complicated one. If I go 23 divided by 3 equals space, then it comes up with the answer there so that's the automatically set up any on any sheet it's, you don't have to be on the draw tab for that to work now this little tool here says replay ink so let's go back up a bit so let's replay ink so this basically just shows you what you've just been doing so it just replays everything like so which is pretty cool if you want to see what you've been doing Shows everything on there. The last two things on there is print to full screen. So I'll just click on that full page. That's what it does. You see in the whole page. 
and then if click on these little this little arrow to bring that back down and then you've got ink help there you can go into that help tutorial if you want and then just going on to the library to see any articles that you might be interested in so that's basically how the draw tab works in OneNote and the features that you've got on there so hopefully this video has been of use so thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one